Hi guys! In today's video, you'll learn how to make this beautiful cup of coffee with rainbow in Adobe Illustrator. I made this video to thank Kaizen Shesuino Shinigami for his comment and to explain step by step this design. So if you guys want me to do something in the next videos, please feel free to comment in the section below. First, let's open up a new document in Adobe Illustrator at 1080 by 1080 pixel. We can place our reference picture by pressing Ctrl Shift P on your keyboard. Then double click on the layer icon and check on the template option. This will turn down the opacity of this layer and lock it for us. Now let's create a new layer for the outline. I'll start by drawing the circles using the ellipse tool. To remove the fill color, press slash on your keyboard, then click on the stroke weight to give it a 4 point of thickness. To duplicate and move this circle, keep pressing on Alt key while moving. Make sure the stroke is 4 point for all the circles and lines. To draw the cloud, press on the curvature tool, then double click on each tips of these points. Now all we have to do is to start dragging these curved segments into place. I'll do the same thing for the rest. Now select all the shapes and bring up the shape builder. Hold Alt on your keyboard and carefully click to delete the lines we don't need. To smooth out this rough edge, activate the smooth tool, then hold on and draw around the path and repeat that until you're satisfied. Now I'll create a new layer for the details.
To rotate this eye, press on the right button on your mouse, then go to transform and click on rotate. Make sure the angle is 90 degree and press on vertical. Here I'll activate the erase tool to make two paths. Now let's give a color to our design. First, create a new layer below the outline layer. Make sure the details layer is locked, then select everything. Click Ctrl C, then Shift Ctrl V. Now drag down this little red square. We'll work only on the color layer, so lock the outline layer. I'll select all the lines, then I'll go to the object menu at the top and select path, outline stroke. This will turn all our lines into shapes. Now we need to merge all the shapes together, so we'll use the Pathfinder panel. To release the compound path, I'll go again on the object menu. Let's color it with this palette. Here I'll create a new layer for the background. Then I'll draw a rectangle using the rectangle tool. I'll lock it for now to finish the coloration. I'll bring to front using shift plus control plus close bracket. Now we have the base colors laid down, we just need some highlights and shadows to finish the illustration and to give it some dimensions. Let's do a copy and paste in front double time. Then select these two shapes and activate the builder tool to delete the parts that we don't need. Then we'll reduce the opacity. I'll bring to front the highlight using Shift plus Control plus Close Bracket. It's my choice, so you can do whatever you want.
If you are new to this channel and interested in my style, please consider subscribing and click that bell icon so you never miss an upload.